Welcome back, folks, to Fishing Plan. I'm Super Dave, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Michigan Overview. So if you're looking for a particular mission or a fish, it'll be in the playlist in the description for Michigan. Uh, we do have every guide here uh, covered for you and uh, each fish. Now, when you come to Michigan, this is one of my favorite places to go, but there are some things that can really help you out, particularly if you're just hitting level 30 or so. Um, one of the things that you're going to definitely want to bring here before you come, if you're new to the lake, is going to be a worm. It is one of the things that a lot of things will take here. We'll talk about that here in a minute, but mostly the perch, walleye, bass, they will take this all in one spot. Another thing that you're going to want to do is the assortment spinners. They do have them in the shop, like a lot of things I'm going to show you here. Uh, the bigger 6-0 spinners for your muskie and pike um, with a titanium leader. So the muskie and northerns, make sure you're using a titanium leader if you don't want to lose your lures. Um, you know, they can and a lot of times will bite you off. Um, and a, a 3-0 spinner works really well for the trout. Um, and I will show you them spots as well. Uh, a, another bait to have handy uh, is uh, the cut, cut bait for uh, the catfish. And as a fail-safe, uh, large minnows and shiners work very well for basically everything here and the waterway. Um, for the most part, but let's go ahead and start. So, uh, you know, I'll be a lot of different ways to make money here. Obviously, the most effective way is going to be the pike. I will show you that spot as well. But to start off with the bass, perch, walleye, uh, really good spot to fish them out here. You know, you're going to have a lot of luck here. And actually, um, you're going to get uniques of all three in this one cast right here by this buoy if you want if you want i will quickly show you the marks if you do want to see them to place them in but you can pause the video if you do want to do that um and just this place is a lot of fun and with very few things you can catch a lot of stuff here also you can catch walleye off the dock straight off here too where you would cast for uh your trout and uh, that's where that the smaller 3-0 spinner would come into play here is right off this dock just casting right out here you can basically get all the trout um in this one spot or, or you can use mayflies or shiners as you can see right here you will run across all the different trouts here including brown trouts as well um as you can see uh, the brown trouts are a little bit better off of that shore across the water. Now, for uh, the uh, uh, catfish, if you go ahead, take your boat or rent a boat or a kayak and go out to that floating dock, anywhere on this floating dock, you're going to get a lot of catfish. Again, to keep this video short, I will just give you a couple marks that you can go ahead and try if you want. Um, the sturgeon being over here with spawn sacks that will help kind of with them. But you're going to see uh, quite a bit of different um, marks over here. Oh, we got to get our cat. There we go. There's another catfish mark. Uh, there should be another catfish mark over here. So anywhere in this deep blue is a very good place to go for catfish with cut bait. Um, bottom water rods work pretty well. Now for uh, the uh, uh, large amount of fun here <laughs> is what a lot of people are interested in is uh, the muskie. And this is the 6-0 spinner you can get from the shop. You can throw a spinner tail behind it. Or again, minnows will work in all these spots. Uh, this is one of my favorite places to go if I get free time. And uh, you're going to go ahead um, and for uh, the clear muskie, you can come all right over here to this dock and cast off right off to the left here. They also are in the bay over here to the right as well. You can see them marks there too. Um, and then right across the river, well, let's show you the clear musky marks first. You can see this one and there's clear musky here. And then 
let's see here. Uh, you can see over here there is clear musky as well. Um, now, I probably don't need to go over it, but over there in that corner, as you can see off into the distance on the other side, that is the northern spot. And uh, with a float pole, you can make quite a bit of money if you have uh, a lot of, you know, if you have extra poles with you uh, for northern pike along that shoreline over there. Very good. There's a lot of spots as well. For example, right where I'm aimed at, that is a good regular musky and um, tiger musky spot as well. Anyway, you guys will have to let me know what you guys think of Michigan after you fish there down in the comments below. I always love getting comments. Um, and uh, let me know what you guys think. Anyway, you guys have an amazing day. I'll see you next time, folks. Have a good one.